Hello and welcome. I am Julie with Paisley's and Polka Dots, and today I am going to show you how to put together our tiered tray display stand. Uh, it works well for all the cute little uh, tiered tray patterns, cross stitch patterns that are out there on the market right now. Uh, this one is by Erin Elizabeth Designs, and my uh, stitchy friend Kim, she stitched this up for me. Uh, adorable summer print, isn't it cute? I just love it. And I'm gonna spray paint my stand white to match it and to just pop all the colors here. So thank you, Kim, for uh, stitching this for me. I think it's gonna look lovely on the on the display stand once I get it all finished. And uh, there's many different patterns out there. So uh, any of the, a lot of the patterns will work on this display, this backer board. You're gonna put it on the backer, this piece right here. And this piece measures six and a quarter by eight and a quarter, I believe. Let's see. Six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Yeah, so any of your stitches that will go up to that size will fit on this display, okay? So I'm gonna set this aside because I do not want to get anything on this piece. And again, thank you, Kim, for stitching this. This was this is just so pretty. I'm, I'm, makes me happy. All the beautiful colors, they're just so fun. So uh, we're gonna get started. We're gonna get jump right into this. Um, I am going to spray paint this. So if you um, do not wanna spray paint your piece and you're using the acrylic bottles, those small acrylic bottles of paint, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't get any paint in these little slots or on these little tabs here because it may change the sizing and then you um, the pieces won't fit together. But if you do find that your pieces won't fit together or your wood has swelled, you can take a nail file such as this one here and you can sand inside the slots. You can even sand the tabs themselves and uh, it, the paint will come off if you got paint in it or it will make it slightly bigger so that your pieces will fit together. And you don't even have to sand that much, just a little bit will do. And um, this particular nail file has the, the heavy grit side. So this works great for making them fit if you can't, if you have an issue with your piece. Or if you do have any issues, get a hold of us and we will replace your piece for you. Sometimes, you know, wood is weird and, you know, it's manufactured. So we do try to make all the pieces fit. But if you have an issue, please reach out to us and we will get it taken care of. Um, so I've already um, glued these three pieces together the scallop piece and then this round piece and then the pedestal on top of that uh, just to um, have save on time for the video. And this is the glue I like to use. I use the Aileen's Tacky Glue. You can use wood glue or whatever type of glue that you like. Um, I like this one because it dries clear and it sets up really well. It's kind of thick, so it holds my pieces in place while they're drying. So I like this glue, but if, like I said, it, whatever kind of glue you like to use, by all means, go ahead and use that. Um, so we are going to jump right into this. I'm going to set the backer board um, aside. So the first thing you're going to want to do is this piece here. This is for uh, the middle of the shelf, this thinner one. And it's going to get put into the back side of your board here because it's, it's going to act like a little tiny shelf like a tiered tray might have. Okay, so, uh, in or so turn your piece over. And in order to make this Fit, or I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. I'm trying to keep my glue upside down because it's running low. So I put a little bit of glue on the edge and in these little corners here. Okay. And like I said, I like to um, uh, use this glue because it'll dry clear in case any of it squeezes out. Okay, and then you're gonna fit this into the back side. This is the, the back side of the wood. And if you find that your pieces don't fit real well, also, um, there is a front and a back side, and once in a while, uh, the pieces, they fit better when it's the front side going in. Uh, so if you find that it doesn't fit, flip your piece over, and you shouldn't have a problem with it. Like this one, this one slides in pretty easily, okay? So we got this back piece on, and that's, make sure it's on the back side. This is the back side of the wood. So that's gonna act like a shelf for you. And if your pieces want to shift apart while drying, um, you can use clothespins or like so, like these, I use these, or I use these little tiny clips that I've gotten from the dollar store. They won't work on this one because it's too wide, but a lot of, I love these to hold my pieces in place while they're drying if something likes to pull away. 
uh, it holds them in place nicely. But just be sure that when you clamp these on something that your pieces aren't shifting while drying because you don't want to come back and find your pieces crooked 10 minutes later. So we've got the back piece of this on. Now we're going to, this piece here, the largest piece of the bunch, this is your base. Okay, so, and you want the tabs in the front because the scallop piece is going to fit over the top. Okay, so make sure your tabs are in the front. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom edge of here. And I'm kind of doing this rather quickly. Uh, normally I would be a little bit more um, careful and clean. And I always like to keep the paper towel nearby so I can, if any glue does squirt out, I can wipe it off like so. So there is your base. Okay, and like I said, the tabs stick out the front. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue on this bottom scallop edge, okay? And so put a little bit of glue along the edge here. And in these little corners, I think it, the tabs hold it in nicely if you get some glue on the corners there. Okay, and then fit this over the top and that's gonna be your scallop edge for the bottom of your tray, like so. All right, and then this longest piece, it's really thin, the longest piece here, that is gonna fit over the top so that it covers your, your tabs here. We don't wanna let those show, so. And we'll just glue this one down. Like so. And like I said, uh, if they start to pull apart, I like to use the clips to hold them down. Um, this one's a little bit trickier because it is thicker. So if you needed to hold them down, you could you could put them like this on the edges, like so. But see, it's gonna want it's gonna want to shift on me. So that's where you have to be very careful that when you glue these pieces together, the pin the clips are not pulling your piece to where it's shifting it. So, but I'm for this. And then I would let it dry, and then I come back a few minutes or 10, 15 minutes later once the glue has set up. It doesn't take long to set that glue up. So once it's set up, then I'll come back, remove the clips, and then move on to the next section. But like I said, this one, oh, and it looks like I glued this upside down. So I'm going to pull this off real quick. See the little cornered edge, the little rounded edge? You are going to want that to be on the top. So even the designer goofs once in a while. Sometimes I'll get these things together and go, oh, I didn't do that quite right. So there we go. You want to make sure the rounded edge is at the top. Okay. So next step, it doesn't really matter um, if you do the middle or the top, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the top. Uh, this shorter piece is going to go on the top. Now, if you notice, these little slots are not in the middle of this wood. There's a reason for that. It's going to allow, it's going to, you once you glue this on, you want this to be sitting in the middle of the board and it's gonna allow for this spacing. So be sure when you glue this one on, hopefully you can see this in the video, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that the narrower end is toward the back side of the wood. And then this is gonna fit on the top just like that. Okay, so the wider part is gonna go toward the front. All right, so let's put some glue in here. So far, everything's holding together. Uh, like I said, I like to let things dry in between, but we're going to be fast this time. Okay. And like I said, if you find that this isn't going on and you're having troubles with it, flip it over, flip it this way. And you'll find that one side fits better than the other, but I had it go, I had this the correct way. And we've, um, we've been adapting them a little bit to give a little bit more space for you as well. So, um, there we go. So we got the top on. And then this smaller scallop is going to go at the top here. And you're going to match it up with the cutout slots in the, in the top here. Okay, so I'm going to run some glue here. I'll run it all around the, um, the scallops too. The scallop little edges there. And you can even put some on the top because the top will also get glued to the top edge. And the more you can glue things down, I think that's just, it's just going to hold everything in place 
a lot nicer. Oh, and I got some glue on my hands here. I do like to keep it, like I said, a tape, paper, um, moist paper towel. This one's not moist, but a lot of times I like to keep a moist paper towel nearby so I can wipe my hands off if I get them a little messy. So, and then that one's gonna hold like that, like so. Okay. Now, so as you can see from the side, this is the back side one that we put on and it acts like a little shelf. And then you have the bottom one that has a little shelf in the back. Plus it has this part that down here. So you can add little cute little icons or cute little added little tchotchke pieces that you can set right here on your little shelf if you want to. So, and then this piece, this piece gets glued to the top up here because you're going to also, anytime I design something, I don't like to see these slots. So this piece is going to get glued to the top just like this. Okay, I'm not going to put it on just yet because I'm going to put these sides on first. So these go on top of here. It's this one first, the scallop edge one. Okay, uh, and then you're going to glue the other piece over the top. Now, once you glue these on, you're going to want to make sure that you can get your, your backer board on there. So, and again, this is the rounded corner. So you're going to want to make sure you're rounded. That's how you can tell these two pieces apart. The rounded corners are going to go toward the outside edge like so. Okay, and I'm going to glue this one on top. And like I said, I'm being really quick about this. Normally, I would take time to really match things up and make sure that everything is aligned and perfectly matched up. And I'll go through and do that after I finish the video and make sure that it's all, it's all aligned perfectly and then I can paint it. I'll let it dry, and then I'll go and spray paint it. And I just use whatever spray paint I use at um, the local hardware store, um, any kind of brand. I typically like the Krylon brand or the um, Rust-Oleum, that two times brand. I typically like those. Uh, with painting these, I find that um, the sides, because of the burning of the laser right here, it's hard to cover sometimes. It doesn't like to cover. So I find that if I spray paint it with a uh, coat or two of primer, it covers a lot better. So that's a little tip that I like to do. I like to um, primer my piece if I'm gonna spray paint it. So this is where you're gonna wanna make sure that this, is, this board is going to fit in between here because these pieces butt up against this middle piece right here. So make sure that that all aligns correctly and that you're gonna be able to fit this piece in. So, and then um, you can go ahead and glue that piece in. And then this piece, this tinier piece, that gets glued at the top right here, just as a little border piece for the, the top part. I like everything to be layered and covered and I like the detail of things. So I know that all the pieces can get quite confusing. So that's why I tried to make this little video for you make things a little bit easier okay so there you have it and then so we're gonna glue this one to the top okay and let me glue this on real quick and make sure it's in the middle it does have a little bit of an edge all the way around it And this little finial is included in the kit. And that's just gonna get glued directly in the center of your piece. And you can use it or not use it. Some people have said, mm, I don't like the little finial, but it's just an added little detail. If you want to add it, you can, but it looks just as cute with or without it. And then once your piece is completely dry, you are gonna wanna put some glue on this piece. So far, my big piece is staying together, but I would normally let all that dry before I go and glue it to the base. Now, when you glue this, I put quite a bit of glue on here because I really want it to be glued tight. Um, you can use these, these as a guide. So this is your center. So when you glue it on, you can use that. I would normally do it face forward, and but for the video so you can see, you're gonna wanna and then you're gonna to wanna to glue it to the center here. So you can use that as a guide, those little scallops. You can put it right in the center there. 
and then set it on there. Make sure it's also centered, not just, see, uh, not just in this way, but also centered from front to back as well. So you're gonna have to look underneath from the side and make sure that it's centered from front to back. So, okay. And like I said, this you're gonna wanna let it set um, because it is kind of a heavy piece. So I am gonna leave it like so, or uh, just for the purposes of this video, I didn't glue my front piece down either. So I'm gonna turn it on its side so that you can see the finished piece and it's probably gonna fall off the bottom here um, because the base is so heavy but that's what it's gonna look like. And you can see it from the side. So remember that this piece goes on the back, okay? And then you can add your finished piece to the center. And isn't that gonna look pretty? I think it's gonna, it just resembles that, that tiered tray look. And I think I'm gonna stick some cute little pieces here. Um, maybe, maybe a beach ball, a little cute little wooden beach ball or something. I don't know. We'll come up with something. So uh, I hope this helps you put it all together. Thank you for watching and uh, happy crafting to you.